Let's see if the key works. It works! Yay! Hold on, Bobby. I'm gonna take the leech off of you. All right, we're in. This is my new place, everybody. I just bought this place. So excited. everybody i am a busy girl this morning i am looking at property again although that other one he's going to do the comps for me and i'm probably going to make an offer on that one i really like it i'm still looking at another one um this one i just looked at is a little bit too much work for me neighborhood that house looks good everything looks good if i could get 1200 for it would be great it is all fixed up, so I could have asked for a higher price because it is in such good condition, you know. Okay, I like this house a lot. It's ready to go um, for rental. I closed yesterday on the property. She had the key for me at the office. I told her, just leave it there. I'll come today and pick it up. I brought Muffin with me. She keeps me company. So what I'm gonna do is sweep up the house, get it cleaned up a little bit. It's pretty pretty much ready to go, except for the ductwork and the air conditioner that has to be replaced. This is going to be a rental unit that I'm gonna be renting out. Might do a release option so I can get more money and not so much turnaround. This is going to pay for my home and my expenses at home so that what everything that is coming in from YouTube is actually going towards my travels, my camera stuff, my time, all of that stuff that I love to do. So, oh, what are you doing, Muffin? She doesn't like that bed at all. She really doesn't like that bed. When I come back in March, I'm gonna buy another property and another property. I wanna get at least a certain amount of money per month that I wanna have income so that I can really, really enjoy my travels and I can do more things on the road and enjoy more stuff. Somebody coming to see you on Saturday. And I'm hoping I can get a rental before my trip because that is gonna pose a real big problem for me if I haven't rented it by then. So I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup. I don't cross my T's. I thank you for all your love and support. A lot of you have been awesome with me, especially during a tough time in my life. But I came back and I'm moving on with my life and I'm moving up, 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 up. Okay guys, this is an exciting day for me because today I am going to go and get my concealed license to carry. You know a lot of people are saying you shouldn't be talking about this stuff on YouTube and stuff like that. You know what? Somebody has to because a lot of people don't. I'm just going to do it because I think there's a lot of women out there who are hesitant to do it and if you are thinking that you can't do it, I'm going to take you through the journey of getting your permit and all of that stuff on my channel while I'm here at home getting ready for out west. I'm also going to be traveling and taking you on this journey of being an actual gun owner and traveling. This is going to change my entire travel. This channel is not just about an RVing, it's about a woman um, being alone and trying to have some type of protection and I'm going to bring you on that journey because I know a lot of women go through this at the later stages of life, either your husband passed away, your children are moved on, and now you're alone by yourself, and you feel scared. The other day I was in my bath, and I was taking a shower, I came out of the shower, and I heard something fall in my laundry, and, and it startled me, because I didn't know if it was from the door, I didn't know what the noise was, and it really startled me, and I realized that minute, there was like a voice, that, and I've never had this before, this voice went in my head and said, what are you going to do? If somebody breaks into the house, what are you going to do? I mean, I could lock the door in my bedroom and call 911, but they're going to come to the house and they're going to say, oh, you know, the, the laundry basket fell down off the shelf or something like that. Duh. That's going to be stupid. So I thought to myself, I need to be prepared. I need to be prepared for myself. And then another thing came to me. What if I was attacked and the last thing that was on my mind before my death was the remorse thought of why didn't I get my concealed when I should have. I don't want to die with that being my last thought in life. So I 
said, you know what? It's my choice if I want to carry it. If I want to carry it, fine. If I don't want to carry it, I don't. But I'm going to take the class and see how it is. I'm going to take this journey and see how it is. And whether I want to carry it on me, I have choices. I have choices. So not necessarily not sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to post this on YouTube because I think it's important that people talk about it, that women try to empower themselves and their security, especially with so many women that are going into this lifestyle. People, you need to protect yourself. You just don't know what could happen. The last thing you want to think about is the last thought of life is, this guy's going to kill me. Why didn't I get my permit years ago when I thought I should have? I don't want remorse to be my last thought in this lifetime. I want my last thought to be, I tried my best. God help me, I tried my best. And that's it. That's all I could do. If you're a guy and you're also thinking about it, but you don't know how you're going to travel with it, well, guess what, guys? Here you are. I'm going to be learning all the ropes. I'm going to humble myself and learn everything there is to learn and ask questions. I will have a lot of you gun owners trying to help me. I will ask questions and hopefully, you know, we will know about certain states and certain things out there. I am going to be taking my gun class today with Florida Gun Supply and it's going to be interesting. Today we have a three hour class. By the way, I just want to say this is a big day for me. I don't want to take the this down or not this is a really big day for me because twice i did not sign up for the class i'm like no 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 yes 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 no until that happened and then i said i have to be empowered i have to do this this is a very big day for me because i've been thinking about this since i moved to my house out in the country there are going to be states that i can't go in with a gun that's not going to keep me from visiting them but there are going to be things that i will have to do differently when i enter into those states and i will have to make provisions for my gun and just different right, things the with the gun so stay tuned, subscribe, and if you are not an RVer, but a potential gun owner, if you're thinking about it, you don't know nothing about it, you're a woman, you're a guy, whatever, please subscribe, because I'm gonna take you on this journey with me. This is where the range is. This is for Florida Gun Supply in Inverness, Florida. Um, and this is where the range is. Just want you to see it. It's way out. The potholes here are really, really bad, guys really bad but you have to drive really slow five miles an hour they're gonna have the class here there's a lot of people here already which is great I've got a rebel soul. I've got a rebel soul. I got my certificate and I just gotta mail it get my fingerprints and all of that stuff I passed my test. I was so nervous. I did do it with the 9mm. And the 9mm is way, way better. I did not like the revolver at all. Kind of big for my hand. So I know when I find the right gun, it's going to feel good. We started at 11. It's, it's Right now, it's almost 4 o'clock. They're still testing students back there. The beginning when I was in the class, I was so nervous. I, my heart was like shaking. I was like, I'm so nervous. Now that I got the training and when I got up there to do my my shooting rounds um, to pass my test it just like I was like I'm gonna mess up I'm gonna mess up and I didn't I knew the steps to do except that my gun got stuck five rounds practice rounds and then the, the final five so that's just to like kind of get a feel for the gun first practice five rounds on that one oh hold on there's just major potholes here on that one my gun like um, it shot but the gun shell stayed up at the top. It didn't go all the way through. So he said that that's a problem with that gun. I did everything well except for that one. And then the nine millimeters that they have there, those guns are really hard. They bring these guns that are for women and men. So I, I have a hard time um, taking it off at the end because they're so hard. So I just have to find the right gun for me that that's that I can you know maneuver it myself so a lot, I know a lot of the women had problems with the same thing that I did I guess because our hands are smaller and um, he said sometimes that I was overthinking it really great instructor very funny very good love the class um, very homey they do it right here on the range nice bunch of people really good down to earth so yeah so if you if you guys want to get your test all i have to do is go get my fingerprints at the sheriff's office 
which I'm going to do. So excited. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I feel so empowered. Think that you don't want to do this or you're scared to do this. Take the class because I've made it out to be so much more than three weeks before my trip out west. And I'm doing like a gazillion things by myself. All right. First things first, fingerprints for my concealed carry. Yes, I haven't done that yet. I've been so busy, been going crazy. So I have to go today and get my electronic fingerprints. It's about $10. They're going to do that for me today. Once I'm done, um, my application is already completed. So all I have to do is mail that with my certificate. Well, not the original. They said to send a copy. If I was not traveling and I was staying home, I'd have more time to do target practice, get more training, but all of that stuff. But I don't have time. I only have two weeks. If I was staying home, yes, I would put more energy into training, getting good classes, all of that stuff. By the way, guys, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of my craft room because I'm not finished with it yet. When I'm on my way to get the fingerprints at the sheriff's office. keeps coming around here and I got these big birds too I don't know where that raccoon comes from I see him every day crossover where is he going this is the second time this week I've seen this raccoon crossing across my yard and now I have these buzzards over here I, there must be something dead back there they keep coming around editing videos it's just so nice i got my two girls here with me this is an exciting day for me ah! i'm going to be showing the house today hopefully have, have some people who are really interested in it i printed out some preliminary application forms so that um, i can interview people and see if they qualify this is exciting i'm hoping to get the house rented because i really have to get this house rented and people moving in before i leave on the 14th Mercedes, I've never met her. She reached out to me because she really wants to travel with somebody. And I've had a couple of people say that to me and never said it to me. All of a sudden, I have women saying that to me. So I thought, okay, I think this is what God wants me to do. So I'm going to bring her with me. And I think she's going to be helpful to a lot of you. Okay, guys, I want to introduce you over to Mercedes. She's 70 years old. And she, had, I think she had a travel trailer, she told me. And she recently changed to 2019 Class C. So she does like the RV lifestyle, but she does want to travel. So she's been at this particular park for three years. So you can see she hasn't really traveled. We're tackling the situation where I have a person who is uh, I'm pretty much a newbie at the traveling lifestyle. Not the RV, but the traveling lifestyle. The other thing that I have with her is she's older. So I have to also keep in consideration with that. Mercedes is parked next to me. And this is the lunch section of Walmart. Everybody come here and have your lunch. <laughs> I have to find it. I have to find this thing. He didn't even show you that. It's, it's these dealers nowadays, man. They show me nothing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Oh, I'm so far on the seat. Yeah, that was comfortable. Let's do it. Stickers. Get yours by going to the description box below.